All right, today I'm going to try my hand at keto cloud bread. It's a super simple recipe. You need a little cream cheese, four eggs, some cream of tartar, and a pinch of salt. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna separate the uh, egg white and the egg yolk. You're gonna put the whites in a big bowl, mix them up. The yolks go in here. You're gonna add the cream cheese to the yolks and you're gonna add the cream tartar to the whites. Let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, preheat your oven to 350. You can either grease your cookie sheet or you can put parchment paper down, whichever you prefer. I greased mine, so it's ready to go. All right, so first off, we're gonna separate the eggs. Whites in here, yolks in there. And be careful, because <laughs> one broken yolk and you gotta start all over. So yolks separate from whites. Now for the egg whites, you're gonna add half a teaspoon of the cream of tartar. Then you're gonna beat the egg whites three to five minutes. Do not overbeat them. You want them to be nice and fluffy. Okay, that is nice and fluffy. See how fluffy that is? Perfect. Set that aside. Now you're gonna do the egg yolks with four tablespoons of cream cheese. It's already been measured out, four tablespoons. And this is, you know, this needs to be room temperature, of course. Soften. This you're just gonna whisk it together. You're gonna take and fold that into the cloud, the puff. Oven's ready. All right, that looks mixed together pretty good. It said to use an ice cream scooper, scoop it out, and leave enough space between each one for it to fluff out. Kind of make it round like a, uh, a bun. I'm not on a keto diet. My husband is, and he's always looking for new things to eat. Bread being off, off the diet completely, I thought this would be a great addition. It says do six on one cookie sheet, so that's what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna add, I'm gonna leave a couple plain, and then I'm gonna add for these two, a little bit of parsley and a little bit of garlic salt. Just to see, because this is our first time trying this keto bread. Okay, so I did garlic and parsley. And did just on the tops of these, sprinkled just a tad bit of salt. So we'll see what it tastes like. So in the oven it goes at 350 for 20 to 22 minutes. Alexa, set timer for 20 minutes. 20 minutes, starting now. Oh, it looks like it's about ready. Keto cloud bread. I mean, it looks good. Let's see here. Oh yeah, okay, it's flaky like bread. So I'm gonna let it cool and then I'll uh, pull it off. Maybe make a sandwich. Give a uh, honest opinion, a non-keto person opinion. I'll make me a little ham and cheese sandwich out of that. It's cooled off enough to take off the cookie sheet and look, I mean, it looks like a piece of bread, feels like a piece of bread, feels like a piece of toast. So, next, Taste test. Let's see. Well, let's put a little mustard, some lettuce, ham and cheese on here, and get right down to it and find out 
how does this keto cloud bread really taste? Got me some ham, some cheese, a little bit of lettuce. Just threw it together real quick. That way we can give this a whirl and give you a true opinion. Hmm, interesting. It's a very light, very light bread. I don't know about any flavor at all. Hmm, let me see. Non-keto opinion, I could replace my bread with this. You're getting that bread texture, so you're fulfilling that that need, I think, that we bread people have. It's spongy like bread, I'm not finding any kind of difference. I mean, I'm a non-keto person and I'd eat that all day long. I think we have a hit.